Hi, you right. I'd like to speak to you about the benefits of taking French at GCSE. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm starting with some pictures of some uh, famous Welsh players, well, the point here is that all of these Welsh players ended up living in another country and playing for European clubs, so you never know when you might end up needing language knowledge. So why should you take a language at GCSE? So a point there, just 6% of us have the jobs we wanted as kids. So you may think uh, you know what you want to do right now, but you need to consider that you don't know where life will take you in the future. So be prepared um, and maybe consider taking French as an option uh, as a language can help you in many different areas. Okay, so some uh, key facts here to help uh, you think about this. So languages broaden the range and variety of careers open to you. They make you more employable. On average, people who use languages in their jobs earn 8% more than their colleagues. That can work out as £145,000 more over your working life. So employers, if you speak uh, two languages, you are as useful as two people. And if you speak three languages, you are as useful as three people. Employers see that, so you should as well. Okay, taking French at GCSE will help improve your communication skills. It will help improve your confidence. It will help you at interviews. It will help you with your listening skills. It will actually give you a better grasp of English, believe it or not, when you're studying um, a language. Okay, so languages are in demand. They can help you get a job. So if you have a look at this, so job openings by language requirement in the UK. OK, so people really need, uh, employers really need, sorry, people who can speak these languages. So the top three there, German, French and Spanish, are the most in demand in jobs in the UK. OK, and job postings by language requirements in the UK, so average salary by language. So again, taking that French there could help improve your salary in the future. OK, French can be used in a whole variety of jobs in the future. So don't just think it will lead into uh, teaching or translator. Language speakers are needed in these following types of jobs from business, banking, sales, science and engineering as well, research, manufacturing and technology. Also in the fields of social services, healthcare, medicine, education, childcare, sports coaching, lawyer and legal secretaries. Transport, pilot, flight attendant, communications, media, computing, tourism, the military, insurance, cooking, hotels, international organisations, international affairs, translating, fashion buying, fashion designer, actor and singing. So you can see that having a language can benefit you in a huge variety of industries. OK, so the world is your oyster. Languages set you apart from the crowd and benefit you in almost any industry. And just think, young people are more likely than ever to travel and live over the world. Okay, we're so lucky with, um, you know, flights everywhere these days and where you can travel to. All right, so who knows where the future may take you. French is spoken on all five continents in the world. Okay, so um, another reason there why it could be so useful to you. Okay, and there are also more native speakers of Spanish in the world and there are native English speakers. So those of you who think, well, I'd, I'd rather be doing Spanish than French. Well, if you master one language, I promise you, it becomes so much easier to take on a second one. There's lots of similarities between Spanish and French. So take French at GCSE will open up other languages to you in your learning in the future. Okay, languages can take you places. Would you rather be working here by this seaside resort in the UK or here in the south of France? Would you rather be working on a ski slope here or using your French to take you to the Alps or the Pyrenees? Point here, I'm sure we've all seen this before. Okay, shout louder, dear, he's a foreigner. Is this really how uh, we want to portray ourselves? 
destination, okay? If you make the effort when you're abroad, no matter how small, to converse with someone in their own language, the payback from that is disproportionately large because people don't expect it, okay? People don't expect uh, British people a lot of the time to be able to speak another language, so you are likely to reap huge rewards in terms of the connections that you will have with people. The UK is currently the worst in Europe for developing language skills and pupils in the UK spend less time studying languages than anywhere else in the developed world. Okay, there's also been a big push in Wales in the last few years. Yes, we want you to be bilingual in English and Welsh, but Wales is very keen for uh, pupils to take on an additional foreign language in addition to that Welsh. Okay. So I hear this a lot as well, uh, machines will make human translators obsolete, I've got Google Translate, What do I? why do I need to bother to learn a language? Have a look at some of these uh, computer translated signs and we'll give you um, a sort of reason why a human element is always preferable. One of my favourites, eating carpets, strictly prohibited. Uh, this is a translation beneath the meal here, and another. <laughs> okay, so machines can't do it all, human input is needed for sure, okay? So French is practical and academic. If you have any questions, please speak to your French teacher. Languages work well with any other subjects you're doing. You've already done 30% of the course over year seven and eight. Okay, so your language skills will build on what you already know. Why don't you convert that into a GCSE now? You'll have no qualifications from your French if you stop now, okay? Uh, GCSE French, okay, over the three years, you learn those three wider topics there, so identity and culture, and the three subtopics in there, some really nice topics like entertainment, food and drink, and festivals. Wales and the world, so nice things about holidays and tourism and features of France, and then current and future study and employment, so school and jobs for the future, etc. Um, and you do those through the skills of speaking, listening, reading, and writing. So the course is 100% exam. It's all done at the end of year 11. So you have nearly three years to perfect your language skills. Okay, as said by Gary Lineker there, modern languages prepare you for modern life. He is a, um, an excellent language speaker himself. So don't drop your foreign language. It could cost you a career.